Hi there guys. Today I'd like to show you how to uh, build an assembly and even use one of these uh, sensors. They are actually uh, motion sensors, but um, they come in a lot of different uh, types and shapes. And um, I've set up a small experiment, as you can see, a protobot, a Arduino and my sensor. What is what it, it's actually doing? Uh, it's it's just having this RGB light lighting green whenever the power is on, of course, and uh, whenever the sensor detects motion, it switches to red. So that's actually quite simple, and the sensor itself is actually very simple to program for for your Arduino. Um, I'm just going to hook up a battery. And let's see if we can get another view. Oh, that's great. So let's see. Let's get this up here. So you can see what's going on. There we go. So on screen, we now have uh, my Arduino, my protoboard, and this is a anode. Uh, RGB and you can tell because I have three uh, resistors on this side and the uh, LED is actually uh, continuously powered over here. Uh, but never mind that. Then we have our sensor. It's just right here. It's hooked directly up to the Arduino. Uh, there are three pinouts po on this and in this case they are very different but in this case uh, when i'm holding it like this it's ground signal and uh, power and this particular one as you can see right here uh, might be hard to see we need some light in that but it says nothing and also on the top nothing but what you can do is you can actually remove this plastic cover sometimes it glue it's glued but you can just Grip it real tight, and there we go. It's unpacked, and you can see it's actually just a photo sensor sitting right there. But what we wanted to see is is this area right here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a better view. That's very hard. It's a... But what's going on is actually. Um, Right there it says ground and in the middle it says out and the, the last one um, says VCC which is power so we got power, signal and ground. And that translates directly into these wires. So let's put the, I'm not even sure what it's called but clearly it's meant to be more reflective inside. Let's uh, power it up with some batteries. So. Got ground, or oh, maybe let's try if we can get the pins. There we go, and there we go. And you can see it's instantly red. Of course, it's detecting motion all the time right now, but it's green now, and you can see it's not really a responding correctly so that might be a problem let's uh, remove this and see that sometimes you get dirt uh, on this sensor and uh, it's really really uh, sensitive so you really need a good cleaning agent to clean it off and not like me just use your sweater but you can see now it's detecting uh, motion it's not very good. This one, this plastic uh, cap actually helps it uh, detect motion. Uh, so if I'm completely still or try to be, there we go, you can see it's detecting motion. Yes. I haven't tested any ranges on this device yet, but uh, it's, a, it's a quite simple device. And uh, 
I'd like to show you the code I actually used uh, to make this work. So uh, let's fire up the good old uh, Sketchfab. Okay. Mm. I don't actually think I saved this sketch. Um, uh, maybe I did. If I did, we are lucky. If I didn't, well, then we're just going to write a new one right away because it's actually uh, quite simple. So, no, it doesn't look like I saved it at all. Nope. Mm, no. Okay, fair enough. Let's do a quick one ourselves. So first of all, I initialize uh, my RGBs. Oh, sorry, I define which uh, pins go to my, uh, what's it called? Yes, uh, <laughs> RGB uh, light, of course. Yeah, I don't know why I'm being silly. And. Uh, Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, this is a PER sensor, but people like me are kind of silly, so I often save it as something else. <laughs> and the name was quite obvious, actually. Sensor with RGB anode light. Well, yeah. I might have been drunk when I wrote that. But anyway, first thing we do, as I said, is we are going to initialize the the pins for the LED and if you can see the light switching up in my face that's actually because it's still running. I define my sensor on analog zero and then I send my pin mode to output and my sensor pin mode to input. Then I have this function I wrote down here. I just call set light high low high. That actually translates into uh, top slash green and um, it's down here you can see i have this uh, function called set light with three boleans red green and blue and uh, what i later found out is the red and the blue are reversed on this device but that's fine but all it does is it's going to set the output to high or low for each uh, leg and uh, the thing is, to make the anode light light up, you actually have to pull it down because it's constantly powered, right? So, uh, high, low, high actually means red it all is off, blue is off, and green is pulled down, meaning it's going to light up the green. It's going to close the circuit for the green light only. So, here's the actual sensor. If the digital read sensor from analog zero is equal to high, that means if this sends out a input, uh, this uh, sensor right here, then we're going to just set the light at high, high, low, meaning we're going to switch from green to red, else keep it on green. And you can see I have this small delay of uh, half a second, and that might actually cause it to uh, not react as fast as uh, you might want it to. So let's save this right away. Unplug the battery case. Plug in my uh, computer to the Arduino. And we're going to upload this with only the sensor value at 50. Or the delay, sorry. And it's a Uno and everything is correct. So let's upload it. It's uh, compiling and let's uh, see if we can get this working again. So you can see it's green. It says uploading. And pretty soon we should see the light flickering right there on the Arduino. Oh, it's done. So, the reaction is, still has a small delay. But uh, 
It's really something you can adjust. And then a lot of people notice these two potentiometers. And these are actually uh, there so you can adjust your sensitivity on the actual device itself. I don't know how they work because when you buy these devices there are no documentation so you have to find the documentation yourself. I can however say by default they should work. Uh, clearly of course they are meant for some sort of minimum and maximum values you can see they are already adjusted. And some of the other models I have purchased, they have uh, they have been locked. They have actually destroyed the button at the specific position. I'm sure that's just to protect it. There's also a uh, dip switch with with no name or no indication of what it is. So we're not going to touch that right now. But you can see. It's switching on and off, and <clears throat> it's actually detecting uh, motion fine. However, 5 volts, I'm running on 5 volts. It's recommended to run on 3 volts, so yeah, it works fine. I'm not sure if it's going to last when running at 5 volts, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.